When you join the FBI, you join the front line between order and chaos. And in today's world, you know how easy it is to lose respect. In Point Break, a young FBI agent infiltrates a cunning team of thrill-seeking thieves who have a different kind of skill set. The film is, of course, inspired by the classic 1991 movie of the same name, uh, but this cast is filled with extreme athletes who perform tons and tons of very sophisticated and very eye-popping stunts. Joining us now in studio is Point Break's director, Arison Kaur, and aerial stunt coordinator and wingsuit stunt pilot, John DeVore. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I uh, saw the film yesterday. I want to talk a lot about the stunts because I got, and I mean this as a compliment, you gave me vertigo just sitting in the theater <laughs> watching them. It was really, really great. Um, Erickson, you know, why did you decide to, to remake or, or reimagine a classic? It's amazing to think, too. It's been 25 years since the original. How did you want to kind of, you know, honor that original but also create something new? Uh, it's amazing that it's been 25 years since that right? original, and we all love the original, and a lot of the extreme ath athletes were actually inspired by it, which brought them into the new world of extreme sports that didn't uh -huh. even exist 25 years ago. So for us, it was bringing the characters into our modern world uh, and at world stage. Uh, the original was about bank robbing surfers at, at Venice Beach, yeah. uh, where I live. Um, but the, it seemed 25 years later, we had to put it on a world stage. So we did. 11 countries on four continents, and we brought in the most incredible extreme athletes in the world in order to yeah. do that. Well, that's an interesting notion that in 1991, the film inspired people who are involved now with this with this reimagining. John, were, were you inspired by the original? Yeah, you bet. I was a kid when it came out in 91 and uh, still in high school, and it, it honestly inspired me to go learn to skydive. So as soon as wow. I was old enough, I went skydiving, and then uh, you know when I got the phone call from Erickson and the team to be a part of the new one, it was really just like a dream come true, a full circle for me, being a professional skydiver and stuntman, and then being asked to be a part of this. Yep new film that uh, basically got me into the life I'm in now. It was amazing. Well, the plot of the film is great. It takes some pages for the original, but it's got some interesting new spins as well. Let's talk about the stunts, though. For people who haven't had the pleasure of seeing the film yet, what sort of stunts are we gonna, are we gonna see in the movie? Um, well, we decided to do something slightly different with this film. We shot in camera, so there, there's so many films out there that are shot in green screen stages in Atlanta and sure. sent to everyone, yeah. CG characters and so forth. We decided to do it all in camera. Uh, and as a result of that, we traveled around the world to the most extraordinary places on Earth where these extreme sports take place. So in this film, we have every element imaginable. Uh, air, ice, rock, water, and yeah. underwater. Uh, so we did about everything. One of the most extraordinary things that we did was the wingsuit sequence, which is uh, new and technologically advanced and, frankly, the most dangerous thing that human beings do on the planet. Yeah, I mean, wingsuit flying is absolutely... I so, so you do this as well, John, correct? Oh, you bet, yeah. So what were the challenges of, of doing this for the film? I mean, this is like, it's also one of the most, as you said, one of the most dangerous sports you can do. Um, but what were the challenges of doing this for the film? Yeah, I mean, for the film, it, the the biggest goal in our eyes as the stunt guys is, was to take the our sport and really be able to showcase it in real life and be able to produce something that they didn't have to go back in the studio and do any CGI work on. And really, in the world of wingsuiting, up until the film, a lot of people have done solo-type wingsuit lines and really aggressive, amazing things, but we are being asked to put together a team of people and do formation-type flying right. through some of the most technical terrain in the world in Switzerland. And, and that took a lot of practice and a lot of organization to be able to pull it off safely. Well, you know, the original Point Break in this one film also talks about fear and the, the impact that that has on people. So when you're actually doing this stuff, I mean, how do you, how do you tackle the fear? Because to, to, we, to we laymen out there, just seeing that, it's absolutely amazing. So how do you get control of your fear to do that? Yeah, really, it's in our world, it's a, it's a lot about practice and repetition. The more you do something, the more you're comfortable with it. So we were, we were granted, you know, the opportunity to do a lot of rehearsal and a lot of, spend a lot of time together as a team yeah. and not just have our first jumps be, you know, when it's roll cameras. <laughs> right. So we went into it really confident, knowing that we had the right team put together. And so when you have that trust with that team, a lot of the fear goes away. So Right. Well, it, it reads amazingly. i got to wrap it up, but really quick, Erickson, why, why do you think audiences are going to love this? They're going to love it because it's uh, about the world today. It's on a world scale. Uh, I think that the extreme sports are real. The experience that you get from the film is the visceral energy and the sense of peril 
Israel. So we went through a lot of effort to make that happen, and I think it's going to pay off for audiences to go see. Well, it gave me vertigo in the best way possible. <laughs> I will never try wingsuit flying, by the way. Yeah. Good plan. Never. <laughs> yeah. You've I'll, just met me, but you know it would yeah. be a mistake. I'll take care of it for you. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot.